people, welcome back. Welcome back to the wonderful world of makeup. Welcome back to me. And most importantly for today, you guys, welcome back to Patrick Top Beauty because I am finally bringing you the video that I asked about, uh, I think maybe two or three months ago. And that is one in which we go through all of the formulas that Patrick Ta has on his website and we test them out. We have everything from lips to cheeks to this all over glowy situation. We have brows um, and I'm just, I'm really excited to get into it. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. For anybody that is new here, I like to take a quick pause at the start of my videos and introduce myself um, just for anybody that's never been here. So if you are new here and you don't know who I am, hello, hi, how's it going? Um, my name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel again if you've never been here. Um, I do put up three new videos a week. They usually go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. A.m. girl, a.m. My time here in good old Northern Michigan. So it is a bright early morning upload. And then of course my main plug-in promo, aside from subscribing and turning on your post notifications here, um, I would also greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go down in the description box and follow me over on Instagram because I am trying to get to 10,000 followers over there. That way I can get the swipe up feature. And of course, if you don't follow me over there, you wouldn't know this, but I do hang out a ton in my Insta stories. And uh, so that's kind of the place where you're gonna find me if you're looking for more like day-to-day -day page, if you wanna watch me do unboxings, makeup stuff, talk about plus size clothing, anything like that. Um, the Insta stories, it's it's definitely the place to be. And hell, that's even where like stuff like this happens when I have you guys, you know, take polls and I get feedback on the channel, feedback on merch. Um, that That's where a lot of that happens because it's more of like the, the place where I can hang out and socialize a little bit more. Definitely be sure, like I said, follow me over there, trying to hit 10,000 followers. And we talk about everything, whether it's makeup, makeup, IGTV, plus size fashion. Anyways, you guys, that is the intro. Like I said, I wanna keep it super short, sweet. And so I'm gonna go ahead now, uh, zoom the camera in and we're gonna get started. All right, so just a little heads up because obviously I zoomed the camera in. And if you happen to notice that my eyes at right now or at any other point in this video that they are, you know, watery, they're red, they're swollen, whatever. Um, I'm having really bad seasonal allergies and they definitely, like those allergies come right through my eyes. I just wanna clarify that going in, you know, just because we are playing with a lot of new makeup and I want you guys to know it's not anything that I've tested. It's just, it's just my eyes, it's the earth around me. And it's causing, like I said, a lot of redness, some irritation, but uh, for the purposes of today's video, I don't honestly think we'll have any issues because I, I don't even think, yeah, there's nothing in here that's even for the eyes and the closest thing that we have is actually the eyebrows. So I, yeah, I don't see there being any issue, but just kind of an FYI going in. And then just so you guys know too, going into this uh, video, I've only ever tried two items from Patrick Ta, and these were two that I obviously, you know, already had in my uh, in my collection here. But this is his Major Glow Body Oil in the shade A Dream. I think this is the lightest one he makes. And then this is his Major Glow Lip Shine or Lip Gloss in the shade She's Expensive. And the formula of both of these is really beautiful. And I've had them both for a while, but I just wanted to let you guys know kind of going into this, I'm gonna be a little bit more focused on everything else because obviously I've never tried it. And these are a lot more of like his newer releases. But anyways, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into the first product. And I actually think based on, <laughs> based on how dry my little lips are, we are gonna start off with the Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. And this is in the shade She's Juicy. That is so cute. I love that it's square. I love the look of it, like the, the color, the presentation. It looks so sophisticated. Oh, you guys, that feels so good. I just, sorry, I just decided to dive in. This is what it looks like. Um, I, I kind of forget sometimes that I'm supposed to like tell you guys like what's going on and describe things because I just, I want to use things so bad, but this feels amazing. All right, so at this point, it's time to get into the rest of the face. And to start off for complexion, we're actually gonna hit up the Major Glow All Over Glow Balm. And I have this in the shade She's Glossy. And it says that uh, on the back here, you can take your glow to the next level with this luxurious, deeply moisturizing all over glow balm. And it is a formula with a touch of pearlescence and can be applied all over the face and body for a dramatically dewy effect. And you can apply it with your fingertips, a sponge or a brush. So again, just more of like a multifaceted kind of all over thing. Oh, wow. That packaging, why? that is like both very pretty and a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I don't know what I was expecting. So just going through here and kind of activating the product, you can definitely see it has more of a shiny, you know, oily, balmy kind of texture to it, uh, which I definitely think is to be expected. And the smell of it's actually, well, it's really nice. It's a very light kind of vanilla-y smell. Very, very nice. But I think where we're gonna start off here is just by throwing it up on the cheekbone and kind of, you know, seeing how it settles in. Oh, wow, that's 
Okay, that's really, really, really beautiful. Um, definitely um, very oily. So um, if you are someone like me, combo leaning oily, I would suggest keeping this away from your T-zone or wherever those oily spots are for you. But just over the cheeks, like that looks really quite nice. And even in person, I'm actually kind of impressed with how um, it actually sets into the skin really nicely. You can even build it up, which is shocking because again, a lot of things with this texture, they get very heavy, very weighted, and they sometimes even start to pill. And and this one isn't doing that. That just looks so freaking pretty. Oh my god, that looks so nice. And that's coming from someone with like combo leaning oily bitch, okay? I did not expect this. And you know what, you guys? I think to go in with foundation for this one, um, because at first I was gonna go in with more of a satin or even a dewy foundation just to kind of match up the two textures. But this is settling so nicely into my skin that I really wanna give it like a hell of a test. And I am actually gonna test it out today with the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. And I did do a full review on this. I'll link it up here. But this is a very, very matte foundation. And uh, I'm very interested to see how this would sit underneath of it because I actually think you know like based on how this is like settling and really pressing in I think it would look really really beautiful under this so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm just gonna run through these next couple of things here pretty quickly first up this is the L'Oreal infallible concealer right here and this is in the shade 330 ivory and I'm just gonna use this one, you know, through my normal areas, under the eye, through the T-zone. And then, like I said before, I'm going in with that Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain. And I'm putting this everywhere else and then kind of blending it all together in with that concealer. And can you guys see how that glow is still coming through on my cheek right there? Ooh, right there, that's the money shot. Ooh, that looks really nice. And then under the eyes and through the T-zone, I'm just taking a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me. This is an 05 Fair. And I gotta make sure that I get those areas nice and locked into place. I've just been sitting here for a second off of camera and trying to, you know, get a feel for our next product because at this point we have, again, under the eyes and through the T-zone set down, but I left the cheeks open because I did pick up one of his blush duos and this is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo in the shade She's That Girl. And so right here is the cream side, this is the powder side, and then of course, like I said, I did go through and swatch them as well. And I actually really, really like the texture. It actually looks very dewy on my hand. Right there is obviously the cream and then that is the powder and they both feel very very nice super soft how I'm gonna do this is just take my beauty sponge here the same one that I've used to apply all my other products and I'm gonna take dip in and just kind of lightly tap it all over my cheeks oh boy I grabbed I grabbed a little bit hold on here let me just let me just thread it around oh but that color is so pretty so I was a little bit apprehensive with this I, I had to take what I had and kind of spread it out over both cheeks but I am actually very impressed not only with the spread of that like how well it just blends in but I also really appreciate the texture of it and the fact that it has like this really nice kind of glowy sheen I think out of all of the cream blushes I have played with and you guys know I've been playing with a lot lately um I I think that this texture is actually one of my favorites because it has the most beautiful like glowy but like it's kind of a healthy glow on your skin like it doesn't look overly luminous it's not like the kind that's so oily and so repellent that it doesn't stick to anything all right you guys so I'm gonna move on and set the rest of my face and I'm gonna use the it cosmetics celebration foundation powder this is in the shade light and I did just talk about this a little bit more if you want more info in my month end favorites which I will link up here but I just have to move on to another step you guys because I have sat here and and I think I talked about that one blush product for 27 minutes, <laughs> according to my little uh, my little time thing up there. So I'm just gonna move on because I really desperately need to. Otherwise, we will be here all damn day. So let's just you know, let's just do it. Oh my god, it even sets nicely. My god, that looks so good. My god, it looks good. Also, really quick, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer here. This is her airbrush bronzer in the shade medium. I'm just gonna lightly kind of swiggle some of that on here. All right, you guys. So next up, it's time for blush. And like I mentioned before, I do have two different options. Obviously, we have this cream one, which we still need to use the powder here. This is the duo. And then I also picked up this shade, okay? This is the Monochromatic Moment Velvet Blush in the shade She's Passionate. And this color, it is so beautiful. I swatched it right there. It's like a light kind of peachy pink moment. And truthfully, like if I had to pick a blush that I would reach for, I would probably pick this one, which is this shade 
over this one right here, which is the uh, powder side of this one. But I think what I'm gonna do, obviously, for the purposes of today's video, is I'm gonna play around with both and kind of mix and match. So first up, I wanna go in with um, this one and kind of finish off the duo. And so I'm just gonna tap into it lightly here, because this one is a little bit more pinky toned than that one, which again has more of a corally undertone to it. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this on a Morphe. This is an E4. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start off, I think, on this side first, because I want to see what this pairing, because, you know, obviously this is like a two-in-one kind of situation here, so I want to see what this would look like if you bought just this duo. So that looks actually really beautiful on the skin, like the two of those paired, and I feel like, at least from what I can kind of see up close here, it looks like the powder blush has like more of a light satin kind of uh, finish to it. Because I'm gonna be mixing them anyways, like mixing the two blushes, I'm just kind of wiping off the blush brush, and then for the other side, I'm obviously gonna go in with the shade She's Passionate, and we're just gonna pop that on, and then like I said, I'll mix the two. <gasps> yep, okay, that's absolutely beautiful. It has the most adorable coral undertone to it, and you can't see it on camera because I keep thinking, like, maybe if I go back and forth enough, but this shade, I just think it has such a beautiful undertone to it. You know what? I think you can see it a little bit more back here, how it just has, again, more of like a pink to coral moment, whereas this side is just all straight pink. Oh my god, that's that's freaking wow, okay, absolutely beautiful. So now it's time for brows, and I have two different products. Obviously, I have this one from Patrick Ta. This is the Shaping Wax, and I have the tinted version because that's, you know, the one that I prefer. I like a tinted wax or, you know, a tinted brow gel, whatever I'm dealing with in that respect. I just like it to be tinted. But I have seen so many people talk about this. It is highly raved because it's supposed to give you that really nice kind of lifted, fluffy brow moment that everybody is, you know, just obsessed with lately. And, I mean, I'd be lying if I, if I said I wasn't too because even I've been really enjoying it. To go along with that, I'm also going to be taking the ABH Brow Pen. This is their newer release in the shade Medium Brown. And I have already tested this in, like, testing new makeup. I'll link it up here. But uh, this actually has a pretty decent defined little tip on it, like, in terms of creating little brow strokes. And I've used it a couple of times, so I'm a little bit more familiar with it. Based on what I've seen for how he does brows and, like, you know, that fluffy look that he likes to go for, um, I do feel like this is the combo that would best achieve that. I think normally um, he actually uses, like, a gloss a brow blade or something like that or brow whatever the hell that is um, but this is the closest that I have now to go along with this I also did pick up his dual ended brow brush it has the angle on one side and then the uh, the spoolie on the other so I'm going in with just a spritz of the airbrush flawless setting spray from uh, Charlotte Tilbury here and then I'm gonna take now that I got it nice and wet here just gonna run my little spoolie up in it I don't know, like, how wet is it supposed to be? Like, should I maybe do two sprays? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. I don't know. I don't really... I didn't watch enough to, like, have a frame of reference because I didn't want it to skewer my uh, my thoughts. Oh, yeah, I definitely think it needed to. Okay, so I have a good coating there on the brush. Now let's go ahead and... Um... I guess just start spooling. I guess we're just gonna go in and, you know, start spooling these little bad boys up. Ooh, I like how individual that makes my little brows look. Do you guys see that? <laughs> okay, hello little brows. What are you doing? I must have to start naming you. It looks like I got so many. I actually am very impressed with this texture. I feel like it's actually lifting my brows and then even the blonde ones I can see really nicely. All right, so this is where the brows are at with just the wax. And I think the main thing that I would note is just be mindful while you're going in with that because the, the thinner that you make this formula, it can kind of splatter. Like I have a little bit of, um, a little bit of that color like up above the brow that I'll have to clean up. But overall, I actually, I really like how nice and light they look, but it gives them just a little added definition. And so now I'm going to go in and I'll probably just overlay this part, but I am going to go in here with my ABH brow pen and I'm just going to start adding some of these nice little flicks to it and try to get like a nice little light defined brow. All right, you guys, so I am back. I've been off of camera now for a little while, just finishing everything up um, because I wanted to get it to where we had just lips left from Patrick Ta's collection. That way everything else was done. And so I did go in with some of my Charlotte Tilbury. This is just the bronzer I used all over the face. I ran that through the crease. Then all over the face for highlight and on the lids right there, like on that mobile lid, I went in with the Chantecaille shade that I was also talking about in my month end favorites. This is in the shade Cheetah. 
And then for lashes, I went in with a couple coats of the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And I just, you know, like I said, layered that up. I didn't go in with any liner or anything because this isn't going to be like a super crazy look. And finishing up my thoughts on the brows, I think what I'll do is put up an up close. That way you guys can see all the little strokes and like the actual work that I put in because trust me, from this distance, you're really not getting the full picture. So I want to make sure I get that up. Um, but I think what really impresses me the most about this approach and I, what I really like about his wax too is that I'm able to get this really beautiful like fluffy look to my brows but at the same time they look very natural and they look very um they look lifted and sculpted and it's just that perfect balance I think of where like a bushy natural kind of brow would meet also like a sculpted brow and I just I don't know overall I really like it and I actually feel like um this style of brow really fits my face well because it's not too harsh like especially over the tail area so I have to say I think for me I actually really really like this um it, it did take a little bit longer because I'm still trying to get the hang of that you know stroke motion and I am in the process just so you guys know of picking up a couple other brow pens so I can test it out because I have heard that this one isn't like the most user friendly um but I am uh, I am a big fan of how this looks just overall I, I think I, I think I quite like it what do you guys think all right you guys so it is time to move on now to the last subject which is of course lips and we do have a fair amount to get through I'm just going to do a couple of swatches uh but I picked up for this category I have two of the precision lip crayons I have two of the silky lip creams and I have one of the matte suede lipsticks and I picked up only one of these because lately I've been more so in like a satin cream kind of texture uh, but I still of course wanted to test this one out so I only have one of those and then like I said at the start of the video or at least I think I did I do have one of his glosses that I already owned and this is in the shade she's expensive his glosses are absolutely beautiful um, everything about them the texture I mean look at that shine they're absolutely beautiful um, they have a nice thin weight to them and I've actually used I would say over half of this gloss and it was my purse gloss for a long time so I, I know I really like it when it becomes a purse gloss and the texture of these is just really nice and the sit of them on the lips they actually last really well so I'm a big big fan of these let's start off with the lip crayons here um, and see how these look is that a, oh it's a Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Interesting. It's a click pen. Go ahead and give it a little swatch. Ooh, very, very creamy. Okay. And I actually like the tip of that. It's like a rectangle that's on a diagonal. It's very pretty. Super creamy consistency. Okay, this is the darker shade. This is in... What shade is this? Hello? This Oh, this is in the shade She's Bold. It was literally my finger was covering it up. Hello? And then the other one that I have here is in the shade She's Proud. It's definitely a little bit lighter. And then really quickly, I do want to swatch the other items. Oh, wow. That is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those silky little lip cream moments, and it's in the shade She's Independent. Oh, bitch. Yes, she is. Oh, that color. That is absolutely beautiful. It is almost a dead ringer for the She's Proud shade. Like, it, it looks like the silky cream version of that. Ooh, those match very, very nicely. If you like that, you know, matchy moment, that's beautiful. And then the other shade I have right here, this is the other silky cream shade. This is in She's Confident, and it has like a dusty pink undertone to it. Like it's still in that nude brown family, but it just has that hint of pinky undertone to it. Also very, very beautiful. Um, and I think I'm probably going to end up going in with a mixture of one of those or two of those, but I also want to swatch really quickly. This is the, uh, the matte lipstick that I picked up, and this is in the shade. Oh, she's single. Oh, bitch. Yes, she is. Oh, this packaging though. Okay, Patrick Ty, here are you. That is a beautiful packaging. Oh my God. Oh, you can't see the texture, but it actually has a matte texture to it. Hold on. I want to see if I can actually get this to the camera. Oh my God, you guys. And the texture of that is so freaking smooth. There it is right there. That actually feels like the softest, silky, glidey matte formula I think I've ever like felt in a bullet style. Oh my God, that is absolutely beautiful. Like it's so effortless. Can you see that? Oh my God, that texture, that is so, that is so satisfying. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna actually like that one a lot more than I thought I would because again, I haven't been reaching for a lot of matte finishes lately, but that feels lovely. By the way, can you guys tell that I have like a type here for colors? I love a good nude brown moment. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in first with the shade She's Bold and line my lips here. Oh my God, do you guys see this color? Oh, this color is so good. Oh my gosh. This might be my new favorite lip liner for fall. This color is everything. Do you see this color? Do you, do you actually, do you see it? Oh my God, it looks so good. Look at me. Do you see, I'm obsessed, but do you see it? All right, so now let's go ahead and go in with a lip. And I think I'm just gonna go in here with the shade She's Independent. 
from the silky creams and just kind of put that in the center and blend it out. Ooh, really nice texture. Blend it out of my finger a little here. Oh my God, that looks so good, you guys. I'm actually shocked right now at how beautiful that looks. And that lip cream, oh my God, that thing is hefty. Like I expected some light, like little souffle ass, you know, fluffy little situation. Hell no, man, that thing is on there, okay? That is like, oh my God, that feels so good. I don't know what I was expecting, but damn, damn. You know what? I mean, since how we're here, all right, we're, we're already doing it. We might as well just pat a little bit, just a little teeny bit here of this gloss on top. Oh, this texture. It is so light. Look at that. Oh, my God. Guys, you just add a gloss to everything and it makes it better. I swear. Oh, God. Like just in the center. Oh, it looks so good I could cry. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete. This wrap up is not gonna be very long because obviously you saw a lot of what I thought, but uh, I do wanna go ahead, I'm gonna throw up an up close that way you guys can take a look. And I think for me, what really stands out the most with his entire collection is actually the fact that his this whole thing, I feel like the entire line really does gear a little bit more like luminous, a little more glowy, that, that kind of fresh faced vibe. And as somebody who not only has a lot of texture, but I also have, you know, I'm a little bit more calm leaning oily um, so I have to use a powder I produce my own my own oils and uh, th those type of situations can sometimes fight products like this just because you know I have my own glow then there's this glow and then there's powder and it just it can create a little bit of a, of a bad situation and what I found with his entire collection is that it's actually a very workable formula like in pretty much actually no in every single instance um, you can really manipulate it and play around with um, whatever you're using to make it work for you to make it settle and press into the skin. I was even sitting here trying to figure out like what's my favorite item? Like if I had to narrow it down to one, maybe two things, what would it be? And I think what's really like tearing me apart on that one is that I think I love his collection and I, and I love all of these, but I don't love one or two of them for a reason. I love them all oddly enough for kind of the same reason, if that makes sense, because they all carry with them this really beautiful, like elegant kind of demure look on the skin. And I've said this before with Patrick Ta that um, a lot of his makeup, it just gives me a very elegant kind of vibe and I feel like with a lot of these like even the brows you know you, you're able to achieve that beautiful you know full bushy look but it still has this elegance to it it has this weightless feel to it and it's the same with the cream blush it's the same with the lips you know just overall like the quality factor on so many of these products I definitely think is is 100% there now don't get me wrong are there certain items in this collection that maybe are my you know not quite as a favorite you know honestly at this point I, I don't even think that that's true because like I, I really liked all of it you know I think the only thing maybe that I would say that about would be the all over glowy balm and that's just because depending on the foundation how long I'm wearing it and like the humidity or the hotness outside um depending on those things I might not enjoy it as much just as far as like the long wear of it but you know other than that again everything else does look really beautiful I'm very interested in so many of these to keep playing with the textures but of course I want to hear from you guys down below what do you think of you know Patrick Ta as a whole what do you think of his makeup um whether it's this or his makeup artistry or you know any products in here that are your favorite your least favorite so on and so forth um or maybe you have um another line like this that you'd like me to take a look at is there you know something else that you're curious about leave all of your thoughts as always down in the comments of course like i said at the start of the video you can uh, subscribe turn on your post notifications you can follow me over on instagram um you can check out i'll have everything linked down below all of this my earrings my makeup the whole bit everything will be linked and uh, with that you guys i think that we are done i thank you guys all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye come on baby let my fire oh yeah come on baby let my fire water tastes like nothing it's like the blank canvas of liquids i don't want to eat a canvas hey, butt headis <laughs> Ooh, brats i know you're not my I don't know anything about that show. <laughs> That's all I know. That's it. That's the extent. Ooh, but